Welcome back to Higher Standard. I'm Joshua Plater and we're looking at Blue White Heroic versus Blue Black Control. Uh, we are in match three. I have won the die roll. I will keep this hand. Spies is going to eat my hoplites. It's okay, he'll just be replaced by a little guy. I'm sure that guy's going to be replaced by. Oh no, here's a Foxes. I thought my little hoplite was going to get bio blighted. Uh, might as well put a counter on it. Stratus walk. Oh, you're going to pay two life to take a Stratus walk. Nice card. Cast two thought seasons. So far. Alright. My draw step is a seeker of the way. We'll just go ahead and cast and we'll attack for two. Let's go get an island off the strand. Oh, just attacking without uh, actually popping anything seems weird. Played right into a perilous vault hand, though. This would be the perfect time for a Perilous Vault, actually. <laughs> Downfall kills off my Hoplites. I guess I should get an ordeal. Knock them down to two. That is game one of match three. This time I'm not going to be bringing in the Stubborn Denials. We're just going to bring in Treasure Cruise and the Presence. Still not a huge fan of Eidolon, but with Ordeal, Bell Strike, and Walk being bullets that we can take out. Uh, 
we're going to keep the three pilgrims in because it gives us extra copies of Ordeal of Thassa and Aquas Horn. The Stubborn Denials, uh, if we take a real quick look at Ali's deck. It has a target in Sphinx, Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time, but it doesn't actually stop any of the removal outside of Peerless Vault. So the Denials... Yeah, they're not as great as they could be, you know? Um, let's take a look again at my sideboarding. Erase uh, doesn't do anything against Vault or Nightmare Champion. He, uh, Ordeal of Heliod would be good if we were looking to gain life. Laguna Band Elder. Again, if we were looking to gain life. Uh, but Denial, I think, is more often a... Has a better chance of being a dead draw. Than anything else. So instead of bringing it in, we're just going to keep it up this time. This hand, I'm actually not a huge fan of. If there were a Temple of Enlightenment in it, I'd be more willing to keep it. But with Despise and Thoughtseize, uh, the five land, two spells hand, I don't think is going to be very good. This hand's a little better. We've still got plenty of lands. We've got a creature. It's the the four land or the the two land four spell. So we're just hoping to actually draw another creature outside of Seeker. He doesn't have any rem or discard for it or for me. So a part of me is like, don't play the Seeker yet. Hang out, give some protection with the gods willing. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe just willy-nilly casting the Seeker, getting rid of my only threat. There's also a good chance now that it just runs into, into a counter magic. But we're going to go ahead and play the Seeker. Get resolved. There's a Bile Blight. We're going to go ahead and God's Willing our Seeker. Save it. Give it protection from black. And throw the flooded strand onto the bottom. Sorrows clears my board. We are still left without a creature. How delightful. Perilous Vaults. 
it will resolve, but I will be able to reload my hand, I do believe. Since the Johnny's presence doesn't really do anything against an exiling effect. We'll go ahead and cast our hero. Or attack with our hero, rather. For six. And we'll play our Tranquil Cove as our land drop. Another bolt. And a despise. I wouldn't mind drawing treasure crews now. Let's see what temple shows us. We'll keep that on top. form our hero. Let's see if we can get a spry going. Planes on the bottom. Merklerger. See what Temple shows us. Keep Seeker on top. And cast our Eidolon. It gets resolved. I'm not winning this game. There's a treasure cruise, which makes me jealous.
another Merc Lurker. Yeah, winning this game is going to be very difficult. But he didn't gain life that turn. Partially, I don't know why. I guess not tapping out is... I guess it's better to Bio Blight my Seeker than it is to gain life. Me for poor. This, I believe, ensures that the Pyrrhus Vault will actually get activated while still dealing a significant amount of damage. If he plays another land, he gets to double life link his Mark Lurkers and then Vaults. be defiant striking so that I can draw something. There's a hoplite. That will do. Great, now my last hat for black mana. Another vault.
well, we might as well go ahead and make him pop it. No, oh, no, 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 no. We want we want him to deal uh, to be dealt damage. I would rather have him at two than four, needing to deal with something. Oh, he did not use the peerless vault that at the end of my turn, which I thought was what would have happened. The spies will show him nothing. draw a card. Kind of hoping that I bait him with a uh, piece of counter magic there. Get the heal or the pilgrim on top. use disability. I would have thought that that gets, or that the uh, Pilgrim would have gotten countered. Polluted Delta takes Casper down to one. And there was no good draw there. So that game, or that mat, or that game, I beat one, two, three. One, two, three, four Perilous Vaults. A Bio Blight, a Drown in Sorrow, a second Bio Blight, and two Despises. Meh. Alright, we got two more matches to go, I do believe. Unless Casper wants to call it, but I don't think he will. Um, we're 3 0 with the Blue White Heroic versus the Blue Black Control. Uh, so thanks for stopping by LegitMTG.com and have a great day.